Dude, everybody loves burritos. Everybody loves burritos. But does everybody love a burrito bowl? Well, if they like the burrito, why wouldn't they like the burrito bowl? Because a lot of people are gonna be hung up on not having a tortilla. A dang tortilla? But today we have tortilla strips, crispy tortilla strips. Oh, so it's so a good alternative. Fine. Hey, if you guys didn't know, this is CJ's first cooking show. I am CJ. Right over there's Nate. Hey. Right over there's Ethan. Hi. Right over there's Andy. Better butter, boys. And we like to party on this show. I like to party. Uh, no, Dave, I just said that I party, so maybe do something different for me. Well, it's me. Who? Dave. I like to party, I'm Rod. No, you're Kevin. Right, Kevin, I party. <laughs> it's definitely not him. It's him. Yes, and we party. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a delicious steak burrito bowl, some fun hacks, some fun little alternatives from what you might be used to. Either way, this is interactive TV. Every time the bell rings, grab yourself something to sip on. Is that the, um, choose your own adventure bell? The taco bell. What? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kind of good. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. Now, I don't think it's in a typical burrito, but there are some of these elements in a burrito. I'm gonna be making typical a simple burrito. pico. Pico's brilliant and simple, dude. You got tomatoes, jalapenos, red onions, cilantro for sure. Oh, yeah, some All those debaters out there, you gotta have cilantro. Lime juice. Little garlic jalapeno. powder, lime juice, salt, salt and pepper, olive oil, or pepper and salt, depends on how, how you like to do it. Either way, that simple. Got that lovely- I like lovely the size, by the way. Going tiny like that, that's money. Especially on the red onion. Especially. Especially on the red onion, because I don't like giant bites of onion, onion. In, uh, in my, my pico. pico. Are you trying to finish, <laughs> same finish my sentences? finish my sandwiches? That's what I was gonna say. I've never met someone who, who thinks, thinks so much like me. Now for seasoning, we're gonna go pretty much solo with this blackstone. You going Han? Fajit, fajit, you going Han? Han? Solo. Yeah. Um, now this is a giant skirt, so we're gonna have to like, you know, not everybody like onions. It's a bit um, of a long skirt. Okay, as opposed to a short skirt in a long, and a long jacket. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nathan. Oh, who knows what's best. My Blackstone is set to stun right now. You can see that nice puffy white smoke. That is what we want because I want to get a wicked quick sear and a decent amount of oil because I got a, I got a lot of skirt steak to work with here, so I need to make sure my real estate is uh, properly plumbed. The inside <laughs> short skirt steak. I'm just stretching. You ever see a lion limber up before it takes down a gazelle? Hmm. It's, you know what, have yeah. yourself a good stretch. I'm, I will. Have yourself a good I stretch. I will. Why don't you do it? All right, let's go down. Dude, look at that. Look, look at that, that monster. It's got a hole in it. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm also gonna do while oh, I have yeah. this here? because I've already got it set up. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some additional seasoning. Mm -hmm. Apply it liberally. Quite liberal. It was deliberate, it was deliberate. You know what? What? While we're here, we might as well. Let's go for it. We got another, I got another side right over here that is on low. And I've got some Ben's Jasmine Rice. Pre-packaged pre -packaged Ben's <laughs> Jasmine Rice. Had somebody oh. give me grief about it being pre-cooked. Cook it if you want, this is a great hack. Gonna go down here. It's a hack. It's an appropriate hack. Well, this uh, is a hack. And all you gotta do is add a little bit of water. Woo! Woo! Man, you weren't kidding. It's over in Whoa. my hot Wow! Wow! <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> <Whoa. laughs> ben, hey. slow it down, guy. DJ, what are you doing? I don't know, man. Geez, also, you're in the danger zone over there. Quite dangerous. Dude, um... Take Jeez. it easy, Goose. Jeez. Still too soon. Okay. Still too soon. Sir, let go of him. You gotta let him go, sir. I've got some Fiesta corn. No, oh, it is quite warm. Dude. We're gonna warm this up. Is that jumping corn? No. You sure? <laughs> no, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> I didn't think I had jumping rice over here, but apparently I do. Apparently. Apparently. Uh, we wanna warm this up for our bowl. Obviously these are cooked, but they're cold. Gonna add a little bit of salt. 
to both of uh, to, uh, to both to all three. Let me do a little bit of counting here. And check this out. I'm checking. Check it out, bro. Specifically for my beans. And the rice? Oh, the beans. The beans. I've got this cilantro lime out of days. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna season up my beans here. This is a fun idea. This is a fun idea. Thank you. Did a lot of hacks here today. A lot of hacking going on. Jeez. One last thing. Tequila lime seasoning. One last thing. One. <laughs> exactly. And my rice. I'm gonna stir that here in just a little bit. I'll, wow. I'll stir that once I flip my rice. In the meantime, you can flip your rice. Once I flip my steak. Hey, yeah. peanut gallery. Peanut this guy. Gallery. Charlie Brown over here. Slow Peanut. down, Chuck. That's a joke. Peanuts. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. It's a joke. That's a joke. It's not a good joke. Okay, you know what? We'll be back in like uh, three minutes when my steak is ready to be turned. Easy peasy. Lime and squeezy. Let's have a look at this delicious crust that has been forming. It's a noble crust. <laughs> a noble crust? Yeah. I like it. Oh, dude. Yeah. That is what I'm talking about. And because I did it on the other side, oh. I'm going to do it on mid dust. Little mid dust. Midsummer night dusting. So simple. Yeah. Sour cream. Different. Green Thank and different. Uh, we've got some of this Erdes uh, cilantro salsa verde. Going to do a hefty amount Whoa. of that. Yeah. Because I don't. Half. Because I don't like sour cream. So I have a lot of things. <laughs> Let's use it in the sauce. But it's a good. It's a good medium to make a sauce. Oh, it's a And carrier. I think that that is a special part of this. Personally, in my opinion, that, I mean, there's already some cilantro in that sauce, but I think that having the cilantro pop. Was any of that a full sentence? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Are we all now dumber for having heard it? <laughs> and may God have mercy on your soul. And there we go. Beauty. Beauty. Oops. Look at that. Look at that. I even got a little bit of red onion there. Bella. Purple by any oh, other wait, name. Italian. Andy, are you a fan of sour cream? Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah? Yeah, dude. Would you say it's prolifilous? De prolif uh, delicious? Uh, <laughs> 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 So my last fact for Polyphia was about Steve I and them giving him the guitar and everything. For his solo in Ego Death, he actually recorded his whole solo and everything, sent it over to Polyphia, and then they took his solo, chopped it up, spliced it up a whole bunch, and rearranged it all. They sent it back over to him, and then he was kind of like, just didn't respond for a few weeks, and they thought that he was mad and everything. But it turns out he loved it, and he said that every change that they did he just thought it made it better. Wow. Okay. I didn't know that. It's unaware. I was quite unaware. What band are you talking about? That was a prolific fact. Prolific? Prolific. Hmm. I'm gonna let that one lie. Uh, Steak sounds and looks done. Dude, still juicy. Dude. Oh yeah. Look. Oh yeah. Look at all this. So we're probably still on this larger side. Like creep, we're gonna be creeping up to the mid, oh, to the man. medium territory. So we're gonna give that a second Dude. to relax for just a moment. And let's uh, let's toss our other ingredients here. Look at that. Oh, you're Come mixing back. it together? Come, no, no, oh. no, 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 no. Okay. I would never. All right, I'm gonna kill. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Cool idea putting the verde in the beans. Thank you, sir. Did you say it's a pro move? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And do the fiesta corn. Cut, them, cut up my own bell peppers. I threw them in there. But they already did it for me. So. We well, all know how you love a shortcut. One last thing. One last thing. Uh, yeah, dude. We're we're done. I think Are we're you sure? Because all the food's on the griddle still. Well, we're about to build here in just oh. a second. So let's ring it and bring it. Then we're going to build. Okay. All right. And we'll be right back. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Once the steak has had a chance to rest, this is when it gets fun. Now, skirt steak, you, there's some technique to cutting it. You want to cut against the grain. So cut a piece off and cut against the grain. That way it's going to be nice and tender. Mm -hmm. Not juicy and hard, but tender dude, and it juicy. Looks crazy juicy. Look at this, that. dude, and the board sauce, we're going to play with the board sauce you here. Board sauce. Going to do a little post dusting. Pull. Gonna toss that back in Pro with move, the board please. sauce. Pro move. Pro move, agreed. Now let's get our big serving bowl. This is kind of family style bullish. 
Bullish? Bullish? It's bullish. quite, not to be confused with Polish. No. Definitely bullish. Yeah. Uh, first, we've got our rice that has been tossed around in all these awesome mm, seasonings. That's gonna be our goodies. base. Once we've got that, I mean, let's start, you know, let's just go ahead and start yep, with our corn. Move. Those black beans that we season with a little bit of that verde salsa, amazing. Of course, we've got our beef that the is gonna go right shaya. next to that. Some pico, a little bit of uh, avocado, not guacamole. Guavocado. But you mix that avocado with your pico, then you basically do have guacamole. Right, yeah. um, I'm gonna top that with some delicious crispy tortilla strips. Um, that's gonna add some crunch to all of this mm. with the texture. Textural then just contrast. Just add a little bit of your sauce. Throw on a little bit of extra cilantro, and then of course you have to post it? dust yeah, with some tequila lime yeah. seasoning. Uh -huh. And my friends, you have got a burrito bowl fit for a king. And you're done. And you're done. And you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. If a burrito were to split open and fall into a bowl, this oh. might be what it looks like. So it's not maybe, just a clever name. Exactly, but maybe not as nice. Almost like it's a burrito in, in a, a bowl. bowl. Huh. Correct. All right. All of our components, I think, are a fun quadrants. play. Our, our quadrants are all <laughs> in their appropriate quadrant. Quadrants. <laughs> uh, I've got some. Let's get some pico and some steak. You Try some of that. Everything. Well, there's a are lot going on. Are you the kind on. of guy that, that mix it up? Yeah. Mm. That it if I do that, sense. it makes it look like a burrito, but I don't That's really. True. I don't want to because it's so pretty right now. Yeah, it makes sense. My wife does that. That pico is perfect with that steak. It's perfect pico. You proud of it? Proud of my perfect pico. Oh. Hmm? You should pee. Money. Dude, I'm obviously gonna make my way through this entire thing. And I need you. And I miss you. But. Pesos. All day. Pesos? Yeah, money. Ah. <laughs> Come on, Andy, give me one. That was good. Thank you. Okay. Go Let me know. Us. Was that actually good? Leave it in the comments below. How'd I do? Is this an appropriate mound of food that would necessitate an entire burrito? Nice. Get the net! Thank you, sir. Thank you, Daddy. But speaking of comments, it is officially that time, my friends. It is time for CJ's favorite comments. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. If this is your first time to the segment of the show, I'm this sorry. is this is where we screenshot comments from you, the viewers. Yeah, we do. If you guys write it, we read it. That's right. And it all started because people were talking trash about me, and it wasn't trash. I screenshot it, was just it and negative compliments. It was really mean stuff. And I was like, I gotta share this. So here we are. Starting from the top, in no particular order, this one comes in from Biff Man. Biff Tannen? Uh-huh. <laughs> Biff says, wasn't using my Blackstone, had lost interest. But then, I stumbled upon CJ's first cooking show. Now I use it two to three times a week. I also enjoy your cameraman's show, Nathan's. Can't find Ethan's. It's because there is not one. <laughs> Biff? That was... That was... Dad? Fly, yeah. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> well, either way, Biff. Cheers, Biff. I'm so glad that you're back in the game. Cheers, Biff. So pumped that you're with us. I also hate manure. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't get this one. Uh, Charlie T4965 says, BJ, you need to make some squirrel gravy. <laughs> BJ. <laughs> Number one, it's CJ. Number two, squirrel gravy? What in the world? That is disgusting. Is that a thing, a real thing? I don't know, Bruce Mitchell would probably be into yeah. it. You know he would be. It's true. I'm not into it. So, uh, Charlie T, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a big old nah dude. Nah dude. Yep. Nah dude on the squirrel gravy. That's right. Ugh. Ugh. I don't even like saying it. Squirrel gravy. This one is from Stella Loves Daddy. Stella! Stella! Yeah, that's too good. That's low lying fruit, I love it. Stella. Uh, Stella loves daddy says CJ love 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 the show my sous chef chocolate lab Stella and mm. I can't wait for Thursdays to come to see what you created hence Stella loves daddy oh. yeah the bickering between y'all uh, between all y'all is a great part of the show my wife gets so irritated when I make her come out to the garage and listen to the hey CJ did you what? know portion she is a huge music fan. I don't think we bicker we bicker every now and then. It's not like we it's bicker like all the time. Bicker. Ethan, know, is bicker even bicker. the actual word Ethan is actually the one that bickers now. And since we've got Andy on set, I swear these two won't shut up, and this guy never and lets me get a word in. As if it's not my show. Seriously. We're just here having fun now. So. To Stella. <laughs> all right. <laughs> uh, 
and I, I, I still don't know how to say your last name. Oh no. Seth Carrier. 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 Seth Carey. Carrier. Says, CJ, be nice to Ethan. You're going to give the poor kid a complex. I'm going to give him a complex, but... Do you have a complex? I don't really know what it is. He <laughs> 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 answered that <laughs> I don't think I am. Yeah. And if I did, he wouldn't know. <laughs> so there we go. All right, uh, question from the viewers. Uh, Twilight Wolf Spirit. Twilight Wolf Spirit. I'm sorry if that's like an important thing. I didn't mean to laugh at it. Um, Twilight Wolf Spirit says, I'm curious, how do y'all know each other? How did y'all get on board with Blackstone? What is the history of the set? Ooh. Great questions. A lot All of questions, actually. In-depth answer could be found three in names, our... Three questions. Our... Um, chicken wing episode where we did the hot ones. Oh, Nate yeah. And I did a lot of that. But the, the short answers is how do we know each other? Uh, Nate and I met long, long time ago at church. Ethan is my nephew. And he was one of my students in my youth ministry at church as well. Where the yeah. same church where Nate and I met. So there's that. Uh, there's how we got on Blackstone. That's a long story. It's an awesome one, which we will tell you another time in the next episode. Stay tuned. For scenes from our next episode. The set, Nate and I built it. It's just a cool set. That's that. Good story. Uh, good times, Twilight. Twilight Moon, what was the other one? Twilight Wolf Spirit. Twilight Wolf Spirit. Totem Spirit of a Bottlenose Dolphin. Team Edward. Team, Team Ed, oh wow. You nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? Uh, all right, this next one comes in from Rod Pilcher. Stewart? Yep. Uh, Rod says, people who complain about the quotes and the fun need to get a therapist. One of the best shows for Gridlin there be. Love this cook. Love you guys. Ring it and bring it. I nice. love I love that he says, one of the best shows for Gridlin there be. That's I can't nice. say it without saying it's like there a pirate, be. Pirate Rod Yarr. Stewart. Have I told ye? Have I told you? As soon as you started, <laughs> I finished a song in my head with the voice. Oh, but seriously, it's more like a guideline. It's the actual rules. Welcome aboard the Black Pearl. Well, that, my friends, is how we wrap up an episode of CJ's first cooking show. Uh, be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com where you can learn about all kinds of cells and all kinds of stuff that we have available. Um, my phone is ringing right now. It's a toll-free number. Is it Rod Stewart? 1-800-NA-DUDE is calling. <laughs> and uh, It's your mom. 1-800-NA-DUDE could actually be a number. N-A-H-D-U-D-E. Who is it? It's the president's line. Oh. Uh, also go to uh, griddlenation.com where you can find a bunch of cool shirts, stickers, things like that. Also, if one was so inclined, go down the rabbit hole, find the link to find the coveted It's a Party with Nate and CJ shirts right there. Also, if Is you want to put- coveted? Yes. Like four people have it. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, if you want to put something up on the board, uh, slide up into them DMs and I'll give you an address where you could send that. Uh, but in the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, this is CJ's first cooking show mm. where we cook. And we quote. That's right. We will see you guys later. Later. Yeah. Hater. Gosh. Gosh. Gosh.